Y'all ever almost die because your brakes broke? Yeah. Me neither. This is so weird. Oh my god. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. No, I'm kidding. Hi guys, my name is Jennifer. And you know what? I've posted two videos so far, and I never posted again. I mean, doing YouTube videos is fucking hard. Also, school, also fucking hard. I'm cursing a lot, and I'm very sorry for that. I'm nervous. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be telling you the story of how I almost died. There are many of those, but this one's the most prominent one. There's this one time where my car, like, the brakes of it kind of broke, and it's just like that day or whatever it was just little things that were happening that just kind of like made my mind fucking go off so it's a normal day i'm driving to school and where my school is there's like parking for upperclassmen and you need a pass for it and i never got the pass so like people who don't have the pass have to park on the street in front of the school and that street is like on a hill so i'm driving to school and i get there and i'm parking on the hill and i'm like parking downhill so i start to park and i'm slowing down you know because i'm gonna come to a stop and park and all of a sudden it just it doesn't stop and i hit the brakes again and it doesn't stop and i'm not going fast i'm literally like rolling like i'm going point point zero 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 one miles per hour like i'm not going fast at all but the car is not stopping so i'm like wait did i press the gas and so my dumbass presses the gas pedal and obviously i go forward hella fast and i'm like wait no i did not press the gas and i try to press the brakes again and it just doesn't do anything so i'm freaking out and i'm like what the hell and so i put both my feet full force on that brake and finally finally after slowly slowly braking it finally comes to a complete stop now luckily there was no one in front of me so i literally i'm just like you know what this is something for another time put it in park i go to class and nothing happens it literally slips my mind and then it's the end of the day the bell rings and so i get to my car and there's people that parked in front of me and so i turn on my car and i just wait there for a second and i start to think back to this morning and i go that didn't seem good and so i start driving it, t it takes me a while to get home because i lived out of district so I mean, honestly, you can tell whoever the hell you want because I graduated. There's something in my eye. Never use your fingers to rub your eyes, guys, because that's how you get pink eye. Use your wrist. Okay, good enough. Orbo sign. So I start stopping at a red light. And all of a sudden, all I hear is a big, like, from the car bad impersonation but it was very loud and very clunky coming from the car and obviously it was the brakes so i'm like wait what the hell i just move a little and i brake again and the same sound mind you the brakes weren't even working that well like i had to put a lot of force into the brakes i forgot where i was <laughs> I have such bad short-term memory, Jesus Christ, I can never remember anything. I'm gonna just pick up where the brakes started making the noise. I'm pretty sure that's where I left off. Anyways, so, the brakes start making a noise, and I'm freaking out because that's not supposed to happen. And so, I just keep on driving because I'm halfway there, might as well keep going. And mind you, I'm taking like the long way home because the long way home is less busy, and I knew that there was something wrong, so... I decided to, you know, take a little precautions and not risk anything by going on like the highway or going through streets where I have to go like 40 miles an hour just in case, you know, I had to brake. So I'm halfway there. The brakes start making a noise and I wait one sec. I have I have details, my idiot self. This is why I write things down. It's good to write things down, kids, because you remember them. I'm just gonna read you what I wrote down when I told my friends, okay? I actually started to beg the car to keep going, to not break down in the middle of the road. And I actually did. You should have seen me. If anyone had seen me in that car, I was practically in tears begging that car. I was like, please, 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 please keep going. Please, baby, please. Like, come on, we're almost home. Anyways, 
halfway there, the car starts going slower and slower. Every time I accelerate, it just it doesn't accelerate as much as I would want it to. So I keep on freaking out. I keep begging and begging. Keep on going, man. Like we're almost home. Just keep on going. And I'm I'm holding on tight. I'm holding on for dear life. Like I was too scared to let go, even to change the music or anything. It was terrifying. I was freaking out. I was having a full blown like anxiety attack. I couldn't breathe. I was in the verge of tears. Like I was just freaking out that I was gonna end up getting into a car accident. And I don't know what to do. For some reason, I didn't even think to pull over and like call my dad. And I don't know what it was in my mind, but I like, I just kept going. I like phased everything out. I was just too focused on making sure that I didn't crash into anybody. And suddenly the music broke through. I had forgotten that I put my phone on Ox. So the music broke through. And you know what? Guess what song was playing? Guess what song was playing? It was. The Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, mashup of Sugar We're Going Down, and This Is Gospel. Now for those of you who don't know, that song, it basically consists of We're Going Down, If You Love Me Let Me Go, and you know what my favorite? The Fear of Falling Apart. Yeah. I was definitely fearing that car falling apart. So at this point, I'm even more freaked out. Because imagine the coincidence, the pure coincidence of like literally your car falling apart around you and the song that's playing is just a repeat of the fear of falling apart. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, so I keep going. I just stopped filming. Do I need a new camera? Get it with my new AdSense money? Okay, I'm getting way off track. Back to the story. My mind is off of the song at this point. I've completely ignored it because it's it's just pure coincidence. I didn't even touch my phone because I was too afraid to let go of the steering wheel. So I'm just like, you know what, whatever. It's out of my mind. Like, I'm just gonna focus on not dying right now. I keep on going and you know what? The next song was the original song, This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco. Those songs never come up back to back and my phone was on shuffle. That never ever 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 happens and that hasn't happened ever since so it was not a coincidence like it couldn't be a coincidence that those two songs decided to play it was crazy it was like I had a freaking soundtrack to my life at the moment and I just I just I just kept freaking out like I was I was like what the fuck like what are the odds I don't know so that song plays and at this point my sanity is hanging by a thread so there's a little preface here. My family has three cars. There's my dad's car, my sister's car, and the family car. And I usually use the family car and because that was the only car that was available. Family car, my car. I love you. Not dead, she's right out there, but you know, she's struggling. So I was using the family car and my dad likes to park in the driveway. The driveway fits two cars, but no one ever wants to get up to move their cars for the other one to get out. So we just decided to, the two of us park on the street and one parks in the driveway. He ever gets there first, you know, you win. My dad always got there first, so he always won anyways. I always knew that I had to park on the street. And so I get there and I start taking the back road so I can turn around. All of a sudden, the tightness of the steering wheel it just started loosening up a little and i'm like wait whoa this is so much better than before and i realized the song again and you want to know what that song was be all right by justin bieber it literally consists of everything's gonna be all right like that line over and over again and then you know that I'll care for you, I'll always be there for you, which is literally what I was telling the car the entire time. But yeah, everything's gonna be alright. You know what? It was. I ended up making those turns and it wasn't as hard as before. And as soon as, literally as soon as I got in front of my house and I hit those brakes, the squealing came back. And you know what? The song ended just at that second too. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that song saved my life. <laughs> so you know what, Justin Bieber? Thank you. Thank you for releasing that wonderful song. You know what? At the end of the day, it probably did save my life. So thank you very much and congratulations on your wedding. So I finally got to the house, parked, and I got inside, laid down, and I cried. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? And then 30 minutes later, I got back up and I drove down the seat to my job. I literally drove down the street 
parked and went to work and then I got back in the car after work and I drove home and finally my dad was there and I walk in and I go dad there's something very wrong with the car and he goes what? and I'm like yeah I almost died and then he went outside and he took the car for like a little drive down the street just to test it out and he goes yeah the brakes are broken I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The brakes are broken. Are you freaking kidding me? And my sister comes home and I tell her the story. And that's when she tells me like, oh yeah, I would have never driven the car. I would have called that immediately. And I'm like, you know what? I had to get to work. I couldn't do that. So anyways. What was I going to say? Right. Okay. So. Hopefully you enjoyed that story time. I figured I'd give it a shot because I've been dying to tell that story to so many people. And you know what? This was my time to shine. Hopefully a lot of people like it. Hopefully a lot of people watch it so I can get subscribers, so I can be a YouTuber. But like, you know what? I can't force you, so, you know. Help a girl out though. But yeah, this is my attempt at being a YouTuber. This is going to be my third video, technically my fourth, but don't watch the first one because I'm still very embarrassed about it. It was a school project, don't judge. Third video, third attempt. Past two weren't that great. This is going to be very bad editing. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to edit. I'll figure it out. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm hoping that my videos get better. I got a MacBook to edit on. You know, the previous videos I edited on my phone. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is my big break. Got a camera, got a laptop to edit on. Maybe I don't have to go to college after all. Subscribe, you know? Help a girl out, like help a girl achieve her dreams because, you know, the real world is really hard and I feel like I would thrive better a lifestyle like this. That's my cat. That's him right there. Marshmallow? He looks so cute. I'm such a cat person. The camera stopped recording again, and you know what? I think it's time to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I post again before another seven months go by. Say bye to my cat, Marshmallow. Say bye to me, Jennifer. Bye. Okay, I'm sorry. You mean to tell me that there are people who aren't cat people? Look at that. Look at that beauty, that grace. He's Miss United States, yo. <gasps> Beautiful. I'm just gonna have like, I'm just gonna have like a whole minute at the end of the video of him petting himself. That's gonna be my outro all the time. Marshmallow. So, dog people. I'm sorry. Look how beautiful. Look how magnificent. He's taking a shower. He's showering right now. What a good boy. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, that, don't watch that.